Hi, in this video I will show you some cool tricks to take your Google Data Studio visualization skills to the next level. I will show you some examples how to create animated charts, gun charts, sunbursts and many more. I will also tell you when to use each one of them and when using them wouldn't be the best idea. Hello there, welcome to Ads Courses. If you're looking for a channel with more advanced and unique PPC and web analytics tricks and strategies, you're in the right place. If you want to support this channel, subscribe and share it. Okay, now let's dive in. Okay, as you know, in Google Data Studio, you've got a lot of different visualization options in here. You know, you just click Add Card, and you have, you know, all the tables, scorecards, bar charts, etc. For example, something pretty new is the Google Maps option in here. So you can add it. These are standard visualization components. Just to show you, because this is actually pretty new in Google Data Studio, you can adjust it, change the style, you can change it to satellite, which is pretty awesome. And after you go to the view mode, you just have this Google Maps and your data, for example, from Google Analytics, okay? So you can just use it as Google Maps. You can even go to a street view. So some cool feature. Okay, but these are the, the standard visualization options. But there are more different visualization components available in GDS that for some people may be, you know, hidden. And they are available here in the community visualization components, right? So if you click over here, you will see a shorter list. And if you go here into explore more, you will be able to see all of them. And this list is actually growing. So when you watch this video, you may see many, many more of them. But even now, it's actually a pretty rich list. And there are a lot of many different, different components over here that you won't find in the standard chart types. And in this video, I will just show you some examples that, in my opinion, may be more useful or maybe more interesting for you guys. Okay, so the first example, which you actually can see here, is this filtering option. And it's called Date Picker from Supermetrics. And it's over here. It's totally free. So if you click on it, you will be able to add a filter like this. Okay, so if you if you select it, you just select date and sorting option and you can style it up and you can add a spacing here. So let's just do this and you select your colors because, you know, this blue color here, it's for unselected dates. This one here, it will be when you click on a month and select it. And this red, it will be for unavailable months because this is, two, this is 2020 and we didn't have, you know, June, Ju July etc. And you can change other visual settings in here. And just to show you how it works, uh, you just, let's say you want to see data for January. So you simply select this. Let's say you want to see also February. So you can easily select these months and you maybe just unselect one month, which is like very cool. Uh, so it's an easy way to actually control your filtering date picker. Okay, now I'll show you some more examples. And so let's go to this page. Okay, so this is a very interesting option here. It's called animated charts. And as you can guess, it shows you an animated chart. And you can and you can select, you know, the options like slow down the animation like this. So you just simply select your date, city, which in this example, it's a dimension, right? It's a city. And for example, users, and you can see the data that it's animated and you can select the options in here. I think that because I'm recording this video, it's actually very laggy. Normally, you know, I have no problems, you know, showing this uh, animations. Right now I can see it's like very sluggish. I don't know. Um, but this is a very interesting option. And I think that you should definitely check this out. For example, if you have some kind of a presentation or you want it to be on your dashboard, this kind of data is actually very useful, right? Very cool. And this is how it looks. And you can find it in here and it's called animated chart. So it looks like this animated bar chart, right? Okay, so another examples. Okay, here I have another two examples of interesting components. And this one is called gauge. So you select your data source, of course, your metric, for example, bounce rate, and you can add filters, you know, segments, if it's uh, Google Analytics, and you can style it up. You know, you select your minimal, maximal, and you change the colors and add range starts, range end, 
for each one of them for each color okay so for example this is a bounce rate so i want the green bar to be you know from zero to 60 percent the orange one from 60 to 80 and red one from 80 to 100 and you can present you know any metric like this for a dashboard it's actually very very cool and this one is a funnel so if you would go into the components you will see it over here metric funnel and you have the gauge over here okay so if you select the metric funnel you can select the options so for example i added three metrics in here the first one is product adds to cart the second one is products checkout and transaction so you know standard e-commerce funnel so i guess this component can be you know easily implemented to any e-commerce and you can sort it and you can style it up right you can add a legend you know you can select where it's shown uh, etc so very very useful for any e-commerce and another example here examples okay so this one this one over here this is a stats analyzer and we'll use the statistical model g squared to predict the metrics for you so i created this very simple table here with device category with new users and users right and it will predict the performance over here for us this one over here these two actually are the data target card so it will you know show you the one metric and the other metric as your target okay and you have the settings over here so let's say my target will be new users and my actual will be users doesn't make any, actually any sense you know but i don't have any other data uh, over here this is using a demo google analytics account normally you would need to have an actual metric with a you know true value which will be your target and in here and your actual number in here so you would need to add a new metric uh, which will be your target you know users for example monthly users and you select the actual users over here and it will show you this data like that so this will be your target users and users over here and you can select this and visualize it in percentages like that this is the same component right and you change this in the styling options and you can change this in here or in here so this is the percentages and this is the values okay pretty awesome solution if you don't want to use the standard bullet chart okay and the last one that i will show you as an example here is the starburst and in this example i have events so let me just show you okay let's actually let's make it the other way around let me just change this okay but this can also be implemented for example for campaigns ad groups and keywords right because let me just show you i've got my event category and here we have two and chance e-commerce and contact us right and they are in the circle in here in the center right so we've got two event categories contact us and chance e-commerce and if i go and select one of them i will see events actions and within this event category right and you can go deeper and deeper and see you know this actually doesn't have label but this one does and you can see the data for each event label like that and here i actually selected event yeah total events as a metric right so for example you could have here like campaign add group in the second dimension and then the third keyword and you could add a fourth like match type for example and you could add conversions as a metric right and see top converting campaigns and what ad groups inside this campaign are converting and what keywords are converting you know and be more granular and granular and go deeper and deeper this is a great option actually to visualize data like this and you can style this also in here very very cool feature and as i showed you before there are many different components available so you can check them out you know we've got radar chart very useful line chart You've got star ratings, you know, customer reviews, what else? Heat maps, but they we have them default. You've got candlesticks, waterfalls, you know, many different options for filtering data. Uh, you've got histograms, another funnel chart, and you can build your own, of course. You've got gun chart, time plot, which is also available normally and super selector for currency or countries, also from supermetrics. So these are very cool community components that are available for free so check them out what you need to know is if you want to use them you would need to allow it in your data source so for example let's go to my data source over here this is a demo google analytics account 
you go to the edit and here you have this option community visualizations access so you need to turn this on because you know normally it will be turned off you just go to on and save it and you can use these cool data visualization options in google data studio great now you know how and when to use these cool and advanced data visualization options in google data studio so give them a try today if you want to support this channel simply hit the subscribe button now that's all for today see you in my next videos